Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, I want to share with you about a robot vacuum that I've been using over the past few weeks and that is basically the story of the Roborock G10 as you can see from the titles below. Now if you are new to robot vacuums and if you are actually searching for what to purchase, I'm sure many of you might actually be confused given the amount of different versions of machines that we can actually find in the market today. So today's machine, the Roborock G10, what is it really all about? Long story short, this this Roborock G10 is an all-in-one system that is not only able to vacuum, it can also mop the floor and it comes with an accompanying dock where basically the dock itself will you know, help to wash the mops, clean the pads and as well as change the water in the Roborock G10 itself. So it's pretty cool here, again it is an all-in-one system that basically gives you the least hands-on time that you need to actually touch with the robot itself so you can do everything on its own to make sure that your house is always clean. Right, so like I mentioned earlier on, I've been using it for the past few weeks now so what are my thoughts on the Roborock G10? Well first things first we have to look at the structure itself. The entire G10 comes in this packaging that not only consists of the robot vacuum but also very importantly the dock. Now as soon as you open up the dock itself you will notice that there is a clean water and a dirty water section and basically all you need to do is actually pour in clean water into the clean water tank and this water will actually be used to you know put it into the robot itself so that it can mop the floors as well as be used to clean the mop pads that are below the robot vacuum itself. So pretty cool here, the all-in-one system, the dock itself, you can think of it as a very cool home for the robot vacuum itself. It's actually very useful in this kind of situation. Now if we just take a look at the robot vacuum, you know, in detail itself, you just flip it over, you will notice that we do have one sweeper on the top left corner. You will also notice that at the bottom it is designed to be able to suck in hair, dust and all kinds of dirt without getting tangled at the bottom. So that's also pretty cool there. And last but not least, you will also notice that we do have that mopping pad which you can also replace and according to Roborock this is actually an antibacterial mopping pad so you can actually use it to clean your house you know even clean up dirt and all that and you do not need to worry about bacteria eventually growing on the mopping pad itself so that's just a very quick look in detail at the robot as well as the dock now how does it really perform in day-to-day -day use so first things first I want to share about how it actually vacuums the house and I think that it's actually done pretty well so I noticed that you know like sucking up all kinds of dirt you know dust especially hair in the house it is actually very very good at doing that I actually did a very quick test by you know even throwing a couple of oats on the floor and it was actually able to suck up all the oats very cleanly it's able to suck up the dust very efficiently as well and I never had any issues with the Roborock G10 now it's worth pointing out that the suction power of the Roborock G10 is 2500 PA and if you compare it to other robot vacuums this is actually considered quite standard in fact it's actually higher than most of the robot vacuums available in the market but if you want to go for the higher suction power I'm sure Roborock also has a different model that does that but this particular one here I would say is definitely sufficient enough for the average home that means that if you have cupboards lying on the floor if you have a couple of dust and dirt lying on the floor uh, it will definitely do the job very well now the second thing that we should talk about here is actually in terms of mopping the floor so how the Roborock G10 mops the floor basically is that it vibrates very strongly at the bottom uh, there's some cool tech going on with the Roborock G10 itself and it will actually go around the entire floor so just to make sure that the entire floor is scrubbed and cleaned properly well. The cool thing here is that the Roborock app here is very interactive and it allows you to adjust not just the suction power but also the amount of strength that you need to actually clean the floor. So you have the most lightest one like a, just a brief wipe but you could also use the Roborock G10 to actually scrub the floors if you have a lot of dirt on the ground and I think that's actually great for just the mopping function. Now the third thing that I want to talk a bit about here is basically in terms of how the device itself is able to detect and maneuver around the house because this is something very important to a lot of people. We don't want our robots to just be going all around the wrong places and sucking in all kinds of cables and that. And the best part here is that the Roborock G10 actually did this very well. So the LiDAR sensors on the Roborock G10 is actually quite clever. It is able to maneuver itself, you know, just go around all my chairs, my tripod stands and especially cables that are lying down in the house. So they are all just going around very smartly and it doesn't really knock into things very hardly as well. So I think that is great. So far, you know, I never had any huge issues once it's really mapped out the entire room you should not really have any issues with the robot itself maneuvering around the home apart from that again you can use the Roborock app to actually create like no-go zones so if you don't want the Roborock to actually go into the toilet you can actually just create a no-go zone over 
were there and the Roborock G10 were just avoided at all times. So pretty cool there. Um, another thing that I like about the Roborock G10 is that it is able to detect the surface of carpets. So I do have a couple of carpets lying around in the house and the Roborock G10 itself is able to detect the texture of the surface. So whenever it's on top of a carpet, it will know that it's a carpet and it will actually increase its suction power. So you will hear it grow a bit louder than usual, but that's because it is actually trying to suck up the dirt that's on the carpet. So I think that's also a very clever feature of the Roborock G10. Now, if you are wondering about battery life, like how long does this Roborock G10 last on one single charge? And that's actually up to 180 minutes. So that's three hours non-stop. So let's say you have a large home upstairs and downstairs, you can actually, you know, get the robot to, you know, clean the entire home. Definitely uh, sufficient for it to run without going out of battery. So, yep, that's basically my experience with the Roborock G10. Overall, it is a very clever, like I said, all-in-one machine. It always keeps the mopping pads at the bottom clean and it does not come with any kind of smell so I think that is great considering sometimes I do use the Roborock G10 to clean up like drinks that spill on the floor like Coca-Cola and that but we do not have any kind of weird smells coming from those mopping pads so very good all-in-one cleaning system there now at the end of the day if you are looking for a robot vacuum to purchase I think you need to consider a couple of things here is this something that you want to you know completely leave your hands away uh, you want it to do everything on its own or you are okay with you know just vacuuming and you know mopping the floor yourself so in the case of the Roborock G10. This is for the laziest people out there, uh, maybe someone like myself or those of you who have no time at all and you just don't want to mess with the mopping system and all that. Well, I think the Roborock G10 is the perfect companion for you because it does mopping as well as vacuuming and it does the cleaning everything on its own. In fact, I just went on to uh, Shopee you know, and check out the comments there and someone even said, one of the wives I think said that their new husband is the Roborock G10 just because it does the job so well done. So that's actually pretty funny over there but yeah it does work very well all right so if you're looking to buy the Roborock G10 it's going for RM3999 here in Malaysia I'll put in some links down below and again if you have any further questions about this robot let me know so I can try and help you out with that said thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one stay safe everybody bye